Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. US markets were very strong uh, day before yesterday when our markets were shut and yesterday they were flat. Uh, the corporate uh, results which are coming out have not been that impressive and European markets were strong uh, both on yesterday and day before though some of the data points which are coming out from Eurozone uh, like the IFO business climate index that came out from Germany was uh, slightly weaker than expectations but there is a high expectation built up on the possibility of a rate cut in the next one week in Eurozone which is uh, keeping the market strong and when we look at the Asian markets today morning they are mixed. Japan is almost flat uh, and uh, China is down almost about 1.25% and Hang Seng is marginally up. Also importantly the uh, data that came out from Korea in terms of growth have been at two year highest level which is definitely uh, positive and uh, yen is actually again uh, down to 99.45 level almost close to about 100 levels. Also friends we have seen recovery in most of the commodities like Brent crude has come back to 101 level even the gold and silver which were bitten down so badly over the past uh, few sessions there is a mild pullback that we are seeing in both uh, these uh, metals and in terms of flows friends FI is a net bias in the cash market to the tune of about 248 odd crore. The domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of 528 crore and in the index future we have seen a strong buying of almost about 948 crore in the index futures. Uh, back home friends our markets continue to do very well. Even on Tuesday when uh, our markets were consolidating we saw a pullback towards the last uh, one hour of trade and we managed to close at the highest point of last about 2 or 3 months. And today being the expiry day there is likely to be a good amount of uh, action in some of the banking names and some of the other heavyweights like ITC, ONGC, Reliance, so on and so forth. And on that note let me invite Sadhna to take us through important FNO cues, uh, ideas and strategies that we can have in the FNO market. Good morning friends, let's have a view on derivatives. On Tuesday market started the session on flattish to negative note. Post lunch good numbers released by HDFC for its quarter 4 followed by anticipation of economic growth at 6.4% led the nifty to stay firm above the level of 5800. And in this period we have seen short positions were squared off in Tuesday's trade as cost of carry is significant, significantly increased followed by around 1 lakh shares were reduced in open interest. And put call ratio also stands at 1.22% 1.22 which is clearly indicating put option has a good number of accumulation in open interest which we can see in the strike of 5700, 5800 and 5900. And call option also has seen a good number of accumulation in 5900 and 6000 strike price. Overall our bias for the market is positive and from intraday perspective one can go long on Punjlad with a stop loss of 52.25 and one can go short on Sriram Transport Finance with a stop loss of 691.25. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all Axis Bank came out with numbers and the numbers were more or less in line with expectations. They reported 22% growth on a YOY basis and their net interest income also grew at a decent rate uh, uh, over the previous quarter. and. Uh, there has been some kind of a fall in their uh, NPL. So overall uh, these numbers have been quite good and expect some positive uh, reaction to the Axis Bank stock in today's market. In uh, an important development, uh, the consortium of lenders who had opened uh, JVs for the company called Winsome Diamonds which was formerly known as Suraj Diamonds totaling to about 4000 crore is likely to turn bad and some of the banks which have exposure to this company uh, are uh, PNB, Union Bank of India, Central Bank of India, Vijaya Bank and IDBI Bank. So one can expect some negative reaction in these banking stocks uh, because of this development. And in another important news for, for the Bharti, uh, Carlyle has joined the race for a possible stake in the Airtel uh, digital TV stake where they are looking at diluting about 20% stake and the valuation is likely to be around 1 billion dollars so this is definitely a bit of positive for Bharti in today's market. Jet Airways Itihad deal finally has been done and it is uh, it has happened at a substantially higher price compared to the current market price at almost about 754 rupees per share apart from that Itihad is going to put in about 2000 crore into Jet which is definitely going to help it reduce the debt and uh, there is definitely going to be a re-rating of the entire sector so one can expect a very strong reaction in Jet Airways, SpiceJet and even a company like Kingfisher uh, in today's market. So one can go long on Jet with a stop loss of 562 and a target of about 590 to about 605. 
and Tech Mahindra has acquired a Sweden based company called Type Approval Lab for an undisclosed amount and uh, one can go long on uh, Tech Mahindra with a stop loss of 905 and a target of 952 to about 970. And in BC, some negative news as the uh, company is under lens for pollution related issues in the state of Chhattisgarh. So one can short an MDC with a stop loss of 132.5 and a target of about uh, 126 to about 123.5. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great trading session and see you tomorrow morning.